Hello everybody, it's the Gaming Dad here, and we're doing Games with Gold July 2021. We've got three games that give us achievement, and one that sadly doesn't, but we really wish it did, because I love Conquer Bad Fur Day on the original Nintendo 64, and it's the Live and Reloaded, which was the Xbox port, and it was fantastic. The graphics upheaval compared to the really bad Nintendo 64 version, and just little tweaks here and there, but sadly, no achievements. And as you can see, it's been a little bit of a while since I last did my video. The reason being is I have been going through really bad headaches and we don't really know what it is. It could be from having COVID a couple of months ago. I really don't know, but the headaches have been so annoying that I find it very difficult to do these videos. So I've just been playing games casually because there's a lot of upheaval, you know, recording, editing, voiceovers and so on and so on. But my headaches are finally improving a little bit with the medication I am on and I hope to be getting back into this. And on that note, there is a few games I could actually be covering on this channel. The first one is Planet Alpha and I might want to try Midway and maybe Rock of Ages. I just need to kind of get in the swing of things again and see how we go. So our first game from July 1st to July 30th is Planet Alpha which is a side-scrolling adventure game, shall we say? So after being marooned on a strange planet, you need to venture across the alien world, unlocking its mysteries while relentless enemies pursue you. This one isn't a difficult, there's 16 achievements altogether. Lengthwise, you're looking about 3 to 4, I have seen people do it in 2.5 though, but that's maybe if they're doing it a second time and they know what they're doing. It's not a difficult achievement list whatsoever, it's about a 2 or a 3 out of 10, the achievements are tied to collectibles and those are birds and artifacts. There is one for finishing the game of all artifacts and I've heard that you need to collect all the birds in one single playthrough. Not in one single sitting though, so that's not too bad. But when you're looking about 3-4 to four hours, that's not too bad and that could be easily done in one sitting for most people. I'm actually going to cover this game, you know, seeing as I'm getting back into the swing of things. And it's not a long one, so stay tuned for the walkthrough and achievement guide on my channel. From July 1st to July 15th, we have the Xbox Original Conquers Live and Reloaded which is a lovely third-person platform, which was a remake of Conquer's Bad Fur Day in 2001, which was on the Nintendo 64. We're playing as a cheeky little squirrel who's called Conquer, obviously, as it's in the name. The world is filled of weird characters, lots of innuendos, some good soundtracks. There's a rock club that I'm just going to tell you. That soundtrack to this day is one of my favourite soundtracks in a video game. And there is lots and lots of movie parodies, shall we say. They're really good, and some of them are really cleverly done. Next up we have Rock of Ages Free Make a Break, which is from July 16th to August 15th. This is described as a competitive tower defence and arcade action rolled up with a lot of weird other stuff. There's a lot of Monty Python kind of humour into it. It's a weird game shall we say, as you can see by the cinematic trailer. You know, you've got mix of tower defence, then you're also using a boulder to destroy stuff. It's really really confusing in my eyes. I think the first one or second one made a bit more sense, but this one's a bit over the top. When it comes to the achievements in myself, there are 21 altogether, obviously given a thousand gamer score, and difficulty wise you're looking about a 4 or a 5 out of 10, it all depends on your skill when it comes to like vehicles or shall we say driving just because of the way you steer the boulder and platforming as well, it's just a weird mixture of games. And length wise you're looking at about 8 to 10 hours, give or take. When it comes to the achievements themselves, it kind of requires a variety of stuff from completing time trials with a certain medal, completing the story, 
doing certain miscellaneous stuff, challenges, getting all the stars and all the levels. When it comes to them, for example, you cannot do them the first time you do it as you get upgrades by getting more stars so you go back to them. There's a lot of replayability with that. And this is probably the hardest game if you don't take into account the next game's one achievement that's given a lot of people a lot of trouble. From the 16th of July all the way up to the 31st of July we have the backwards compatible Xbox 360 title Midway Arcade Origins which is the arcade cabinet of Midway games. Now they are no longer around I think and in this game we have 31 of their games and to name a few we have Pit Fighter, Joust, Gauntlet, Defender and one of the ones I played when I was a little boy being a 90s kid Smash TV. With the achievements themselves, they are tied to doing a little miscellaneous achievement in all 31 games, so every game has one achievement. They're not too bad, a lot of people are having problems with Joust 2 and Smash TV. Smash TV is a notoriously difficult game if you're not knowing what to do, and it can be quite a little pace, shall we say. You've got to do the boss of the first level, and that may not seem daunting at first, but it can be quite difficult depending on placements. You also don't really have continues, however there is a glitch. If you have 500,000 points, you're tapping A or something, you can come back with 6 lives, but I've heard mixed reviews regarding that. So you're going to have to take it as it comes. I managed to complete the first level when I was a little kid. I did have my brother to help me, shout out to him because he was a good co-op partner. Not that we do stuff nowadays as we're older and we have so many other stuff to do, like work and family. And yeah. Not like you do when you're a kid, you have so much free time and you think I can't wait to grow old and then you grow old and then you don't get as much game in as you do. Difficulty wise you're looking to a 3 out of 4 out of 10 for most of it and people are giving mixed reviews regarding Joust 2 and Smash TV as an 8 or 9 out of 10. So yeah again take that as it comes, it all depends on your skill and a bit of luck as well because not all enemy placements are always the same as we know in games. And lengthwise you're looking to about 6 to 8 hours and that's the same again depending on your skill, however that's just a ballpark. Now going on to the achievements and will I play them, I could potentially do all 3, it just depends on how much time I have and so on and so on. I would also like to say thank you very much because we are currently on 760 subs or so and that is a great accomplishment, we're so close to a thousand. Now regarding going forward, just to say I've got a few socials, I've got Facebook, Patreon, you know, I do have a Twitch but I've not been using it in a while so I might do a little bit of streaming on YouTube, I don't know, or I might go back to Twitch. But anyway, I also do have a Discord, why don't you join it with a link below, come along, have a chat with me, even give me some suggestions. Regarding my Patreon, you know, go there, show some support as well. I'd like to do this full time but unfortunately I can't because I need money you know, as we do to live, I will be still doing this part time, but maybe in the future when I see a bit of income also from YouTube and, you know, Patreon and so on, I could do this full time and you would be seeing more updated and better quality content. You know, it's hard being a father, being a worker and also being a fiance to a beautiful family. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to promote myself too much because I don't want to sound vain or needy or that, but just, you know, if you join the Discord or Facebook or even get in contact with me. Just let me know any advice you can give me or any suggestions you would like to see. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'm still going to stick to achievement guides and stuff, but yeah, with the games of gold. But like I say, just get in contact with me, even comment below, like this video as well, and let's just see how it goes. But I am going to be starting Planet Alpha, guys, so stay tuned. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification to keep yourself updated. And if you could join my Facebook and Patreon, that would be greatly appreciated also. Last but not least, see ya!